welcome back please in a visa here in case you're new please subscribe to my channel support me as you grow together in this tough topic of ours so today just going to do a, a family planning i'm not yet done but i'm almost done i'm doing the implants and i'm going to tell you what these implants are we actually have two categories we have the three one and we have the five year one uh, I just want to brief you about the three one which is called the implanol that contains 68 milligrams of the hormone so the, the, the implanol contains 68 milligrams and it has the hormone etonogestrel that is very very viable for three years after three years you can go remove it and uh, you can there are those people who conceive immediately and there are those who can wait for a short while but it all works the same um, looking at it point on the advantages and the disadvantages i'll explain to you later but now let's see at how this implant is being implanted and supposed to be taken into consideration both for the medical personnel and the patient herself because you just can't go about putting uh, inserting this uh, implant without the patient's consent you need one to know that if you're going to have the implant on you're not supposed to be pregnant so it is important if you can just have a pregnancy test to confirm and rule out those doubts another thing you are supposed to have a thorough gynecological history done on you to rule out if you're having any infections any medical complications so it is, it is always important to have these things done and, another, and the third thing is that you have to sign the consent to assure you and the doctor that you're going to have this insertion of the implant on before the procedure takes place. And how is this implant on inserted into your body or rather it for you to have it in your system? It is usually put mostly on the arm that is not uh, much of work so we do prefer because 90 okay rather 70 percent of the people use their right hand in doing their cause and their work so we prefer having it on the left hand it is just done um, quite in sort of a place around here yes um, you need a septic procedures for it to be done or rather a clean procedure you need a uh, cotton wool that are clean you need surgical spirit you need needle you need an uh, syringe and then also you need a uh, lignocaine lignocaine is just actually for making the place numb we find a uganda kidogo sababu it is a it is a procedure that is going to cause a bit of pain to your body if it is done without numbing the area this of the implant on her it is easy to insert just requires them under minimal local anesthesia and then once it's, it's being done, that is it. Um, it's cost effective, actually it's not as expensive as the inserting of the IUCD, so it's a bit cheaper in, as compared to the intrauterine device. Um, it doesn't require regular clinic visits. And then also fertility returns soon or rather immediately after the removal of the implant. Some will experience vaginal itchiness and acne. Um, some will experience body weight and increase in blood pressure, but it is not so much common. And also will experience back pains, though some don't experience. So it, with this family planning, it all depends with how it works with your body. There's that person whom depot works so well with, and there's that person whom implant works so well with. So it's better for you to consult your doctor, your nurse, your clinician on what is the best family planning for you and if you've never had an experience with it you can try and if it fails on you don't go there's always another solution in that case thank you so much for staying with my channel uh, leave a comment um, i'll get back to you subscribe click the notification bar and i'll see you next time as i talk about the bell